this series of paintings, I uh, painted um, full breed dogs. Um, I have a Boston Terrier and, um, and I walk her every day and come across other dogs on, on, on my walk. And I just think it's, it's really cool that you can get a silhouette of a full breed and you can recognize it. It's, it's, it's like those old fashioned silhouettes of people's portraits and you can, it's so simple yet you, you understand their features and you, you can tell who that person is. Uh, similar to these silhouettes of the dogs, they're, um, they're full breed dogs and you know which breed they are. Dogs are all, you know, um, it's different than cats. Cats, they all look the same. Whereas the full breed dogs, you can tell, oh, that one's a pug or that one's a Boston Terrier. And uh, just by the silhouette of it. So the simplicity um, becomes more than um, just a silhouette. It becomes a portrait. Um, I think with all art, you, you start out one way and then the more you do, the more you grow with your work. So the beginning pieces I, I started off with were uh, the ones on canvas here and the smaller ones. And you can see the paint is um, um, more thick, I guess, and, um, and uh, it, it, they, they're not the silhouettes. And then I as I continued doing those, I, um, I started thinking, hey, these silhouettes would be kind of neat. I love pop art, so the background of the art is, uh, has a pop art sort of feel to it um, with uh, letters and, and different uh, colors um, on top of each other. Um, so it's kind of more sort of abstracty pop art. And then, um, and then I place the image of the dog over top. Um, from Alex Coville because I went to Mount Allison University so strongly influenced by him uh, Christopher Pratt Mary Pratt um, to Andy Warhol of course um, the pop art is really evident uh, again in my my work I hope you enjoy my show please come in I'll be showing at the Aurora Public Library until August 9th